ALL's Curriculum Committee welcomes back Bob Vinatieri. We are very glad to have him back as he brings to life all of these places historically and visually that he has toured for years. Welcome, Bob. Hello, welcome everybody from Western Washington and, and thereabouts. Um, I wanted to have a special thank you to uh, uh, Marilyn and uh, Michu for welcoming me back. This will be, I think, my third year that I've done a presentation here. The first one, I think they caught me doing something with Road Scholar and thought, oh, Columbia River, Snake River, that that might interest our folks. And so I came in and talked about that. Then the next year, I talked a little bit about Lewis and Clark and their time on the Columbia and Snake and the legacy that they left for us and what happened to all those folks. One of the things that I said at the very end of that topic was, you know, we have this great story. There's other stories that never seem to get talked about. And I said, what about Zebulon Pike? Well, Marilyn heard that and she said, what about him? Maybe you could do a whole program on Zebulon Pike. So that's the inspiration for doing this uh, lecture in December, is to talk about what happened after Lewis and Clark took their trip in terms of other explorers. So we're going to look at Zebulon Pike, or as the title says, we're going to uh, peek at Pike, which is I didn't come up with that, it was very clever, however. So uh, Zebulon and Pike, we're gonna talk about how this guy, that very similar to Meriwether Lewis, about the same age um, when he went out exploring, did not live much longer after he did the exploring. And so we'll talk a little bit about what he did explore uh, in the Louisiana territory. We'll answer the question, was he an explorer or a spy? And the reason that keeps on coming up is that he was under the direction of General James Wilkinson, a senior officer of the U.S. Army. He was also governor of Louisiana Territory. But uh, Wilkinson did not go down so well in history. In fact, Teddy Roosevelt uh, once described him, looking back, saying that in all our history, there is no more a despicable character. So how could Zebulon Pike, who we've named so many things after um, as an explorer and a war hero, how could he be mentored by this despicable character in our US history? I think it's, it could be quite a really fascinating story that I hope to uh, get you excited about looking at this part of American history early 19th century and what was happening out of St. Louis. We'll examine his diary and we'll also look at his maps that he created to decide whether or not he was actually a spy and had no map making abilities. So we'll talk about that. So um, I hope you can join us in uh, discussing this uh, creature, Zebulon Pike, and find out why so many things are named for him and uh, deciding whether or not he was an explorer or a spy. So we look forward to uh, chatting with you in a few months. Thank you.